What's up, guys? I'm Tyler. That's Brittany. And we are Wallace Farm and Sawmill. What we're doing today is something that I'm kind of dreading doing, kind of not dreading doing. I got a, I got a big log, and this is a rare one for us. We do get occasional big logs, but I would say anything that you know is in the 30, might say 31 here on this little egged out far, but it's a good 30 inch, solid 30 inch log. Um, a little rare for us. We typically are dealing with logs in the range of 10 inch all the way up to 24. Yeah. Typically. Like that's, you know, like yeah. 10 to 15. Yeah, well. Between that. Well, yeah, 10 to 15 is probably the everyday log. Yes. but the, Those are the nice ones. Yeah, that's what, we, that's what we like to cut. Yeah. But I mean, we go up to 24 inches regularly. However, we don't regularly go up to 30, so this is a rare log for us. And I'm sure a rare log for, well, a lot of places here on the east coast of the uh, this side of the world. I mean, I know out in Oregon and everywhere they get huge and whatever. But we're going to take this log and we are going to mill it on the LT-15 wide. So the good thing is, is we totally have the machine for taking care of that style of uh, log. The bad thing is, is uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to turn, but I'll make it work. You, know, you guys can hang out and watch me struggle through that. I may end up using the tractor, and I've got a chain and a little hook on the end. I may do. I may get. I may get uh, wild. I, that's that's the word I'm going to use. I may get a little wild turning that, but after I get the first couple cuts off of it, it it'll be fine. It won't be no big deal. So guys, hang out. Watch us use the LT-15 wide. We haven't got a lot of footage of it sawing up yet on the channel. So let's get some work done. Let's, let's saw a big log. Start this off. We're going to put the back stops up. And uh, we'll put our bridge in across and I'll roll it on there. You can watch me struggle. here and the reason i want to go ahead and show you this part of it may be a little long-winded video but when you look at these sawmills any of them this sawmill says it'll take a 36 inch log absolutely you can cut a 36 inch log okay what they don't tell you is you can easily cut a 36 inch log this is a plain jane 30 inch log not many knots i'm back i dropped the camera anyway Plain Jane, 30 inch log, not many knots stuck out the side, slick, straight log, right? 30 inches. Sawmill cut a 36 inch log. Lies. Okay, the reason I say that, he can't even clamp it. I have that pulled out all the way till it's touching. Can't come out any further, and this machine straight up cannot clamp a 30 inch log. Facts. We'll make it work though. Okay, we're gonna fire it up and go ahead and try to get a cut. May have a little wobble until we can get a flat face and get it turned around. We'll just have to see. We'll play it by ear.
I'm gonna bring the camera around here, guys, and just show you a little bit of what it looks like going through. See, we got plenty of height. I can still lift like four more inches. I'm gonna start out on a 30-inch uh, cut right there. Like I said, I'm, I'm half expecting it to wobble a little bit. We'll see what it does. big slab off the top. guys now for the moment you've all been waiting for the first turn of this huge log check it out i made a slab cut then i got two edges or two boards off that need to be edged um what are we looking at there inside we'll go bark to bark about 25 inches that's what that ended up being on that cut and i'm, I'm actually running a fairly dull blade to be honest with you so now what we're gonna do is turn that up 90 degrees. Somehow, let's figure it out. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to turn it by hand just to see, and then I'm gonna break the tractor out if I have trouble. tractor in here and do something i'll turn you back on when i get it over here all right guys here's lift attempt number one we're gonna flip i actually have flipped a bunch of logs back this in the past on other mills so should be fine go ahead and lean back on it brick straight up just easy does it all right hold right there Ease 
I've done more. My hook. I'm going to go ahead and reposition your hook. I'm going to use this little block that gives us. Got to hold that thing over. Right there. All right, ease down. There you go. Come on down. away from it. All right, ease up on it. take you off the stand here and show you what we did you seen how we rigged it we brought it in here stood it up we're close to 90 degrees it may be a hair over it's hard to tell with those short back stops but that's what it comes equipped with so we got it turned how will the help of miss Brittany on that tractor so this is sort of Kinda, guys, a little how-to video of maybe how to handle what we just did on this sawmill. It's something you could do on any sawmill for turning a big log. You know, reaching over and hooking. You need to do it and be safe and try to stay away from everything. Notice I used that block to kind of chalk that, yeah, chalk it up there like you would a wheel or something. And I stood back away from it. You know, of course, there was danger that could have been had, and I'm sure you could pick out a million safety violations there, but I tried to play it smart. So let's get the top sawed off, and let's get on down deeper into this log. guys as you can see i got a slab then i got a board and now i've got a three and a half inch cant we're going to use that three and a half inch cant to stand up and make two befores in a little bit but we got to get this cant off of here and slide it onto there
that bad. We never lifted it, see? We'll kind of flip it back into place. All right. So as you can see, we're still huge here, but we're, we're getting it down. We're working it down now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stand this guy up onto its uh, two sides there, turn it up, and then we'll uh, work it down further. All right, here we go. Let's set up one more turn and show you guys how we do this. Okay, go ahead, go up, slowly, all right guys, starting to turn, watch it, make sure it's going to roll, keep going, all right. hold, 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 we need to reset our uh, wedge here, hold that, and block it over the middle. front of your camera guys come on it's easy does it easy oh. what you guys think turn a big log like that can't you I was going to show you what we're doing here so what we're making out of this big log uh, i mean there's a million cool things you can make out of it but we're making pallet wood because well, that's what we mainly saw here so we're getting them into three and a half inch cans as you can see we'll stand those up drop inch and a half on them i got to make four drops here and then we're going to stand those up and start turning them into pallet wood um just wanted to interject and show you this is what we're sawing out of that material. So back to it.
All right, guys, about got this dude whooped down. If you look back here, you'll see that uh, we just got to make uh, about seven more drops and it'll all be in two by fours right here. Check them out. So that's the plan for the rest of those. And then we'll have to tackle those three cans left over there. But I wanted to show you us tackling a really big log in the summer heat pretty hot out here right very hot so let's go over here I want to show you this machine here a lot of you guys are confused and you guys think that uh, this right here is a tractor but you're wrong it's actually the log wizard Turner 3000 <laughs> I'll patent that name but anyway just joking it is a good uh, log turner it does saved a good job backs. yeah yeah say <laughs> definitely saved our backs and made turning that monster log possibility i probably have made this video long as crap already just sh showing you how to turn the big huge log and do all the different operations it takes to saw such a big log so anyways if you guys like this content you know what i'm gonna say i want you to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys see ya